Hi everyone, in this lesson we're gonna learn how Photoshop works and how to go ahead and select pixels. Now when I zoom in on my document, if I hit Command Plus a bunch of times, you can see that really every photo is just made up of a bunch of pixels. And pixels basically means these little colored squares. Each square is a different color, and when you zoom out, Command Minus, you can start to see that that is what my photo is composed of. So Photoshop really works by just manipulating pixels. But Photoshop can't change pixels or do anything to pixels until it knows what pixels you wanna mess with. So you have to select different pixels before you can do anything. So if I wanna move different parts of this photograph over to this plate, I have to select these pixels before I can move them. It's really simple to do that. I've got over on my left-hand side, I got my move tool. I'm gonna to use that to move things, but first I have to select the pixels like I said, and I've got one, two, three tools directly below the move tool. And those are all of my different selection tools. I can select pixels using any of these. And we're gonna go through some of those right now. So if I were to go in and grab the very first one, my rectangular marquee tool, I could just click and drag a box. And now that I've got this dotted line that's left behind, that means those are the pixels inside the box that are selected. So I can grab my move tool and I can click and drag that box somewhere else. And now it's moving those pixels over here. Uh, I don't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to put them back where they need to go. Command Z undoes. And then when I'm done with my selection and I don't wanna use those pixels anymore, I'm gonna hit Command and D. And that's gonna be really important that I put Command D right there so that I can go ahead and uh, be done with those. So let's go ahead and try to move this plate. I'm gonna use Z on my keyboard to get to my zoom tool. I can also uh, grab my zoom tool over here on the left-hand side, either way. And I'm just gonna click and drag a bit to zoom in on that and my space bar to navigate over. Same commands that I would have used in uh, Illustrator. And now that I've got this, I'm gonna go over to my selection tools and my second tool, my rectangular marquee, if I click and hold, beneath it is the elliptical marquee tool. So I'm gonna select elliptical marquee and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start dragging a circle. And you'll notice I've clicked off the edge of it. So I wanna drag a circle and try to select this plate. Now I kinda of clicked in the wrong spot. So what if I wanna move my whole circle? Well, I can do that by holding down my space bar and moving the circle around. Now my mouse is still held down. So I click and held with my mouse, but I'm also using my space bar to move the whole circle. Uh, but if I let go of my space bar and then I keep dragging, then it just moves the circle. So I got this right where I need it, pretty good. And once I'm happy with it, I'm going to release my mouse. So now I've got this dotted line that's moving. Some people say it looks like a bunch of ants dancing around, so we call it the dancing ants. Um, and I can command zero back out. It's still selected, right? So I've selected it, and now that my pixels are selected, I can grab my move tool, and I can move those pixels somewhere else on my um, image. So I've moved it. Now, it's still selected. So if I'm done, if I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to hit Command and D, right? We talked about that before. But I want to be careful because keep in mind, when you hit Command and D and these dots go away, that's like I'm super gluing it down to the layer. Um, so I'm going to do it, Command D, and it's now super glued onto this plate. If later I change my mind and I thought, oh, I want to move that, let's say I select it again, the issue is now if I move it, it ripped up the plate underneath it. And there's no fixing that. So we have to be really careful, Command Z, get out of there. Um, so only hit Command D when you are confident you're happy with your placement. If you get a little bit of plate left over over here, I'm fine with that. So go ahead and do that on your image. Move the plate using the elliptical marquee tool. Bring it over. Uh, and once you have it positioned where you want to hit Command and D for done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to practice using a different tool to select um, some pixels. Let's mess with this sand dollar. How about that? So go to the sand dollar, please. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use now, I'm going to skip uh, the second selection tool and I'm going to go to my fourth tool down. That's my uh, object selection tool, but I'm actually going to click and hold so that I get, oops, well, maybe. I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to get my quick select tool. And the quick select tool analyzes colors to understand what to select. So it's gonna analyze all this stuff. So with my cursor, I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna click one time on my sand dollar. Boom, 
it analyzed the area around and recognized all the colors that were similar to what I clicked on. And so it selected my sand dollar almost perfectly with one click. That was awesome. So now I've got one click. I can take my move tool because again, it's still selected. I can move my selected pixels. And once I get it where I want it, I can hit command D on my keyboard and it's done. It was really, really easy, wasn't it? So that's awesome. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna go back up to my seashells uh, print. Z to zoom in a bit, spacebar to navigate over to it. And I'm gonna go back to that elliptical marquee that I used before. That was my second tool down and it's embedded. So now all I have to do is click and drag again, just like we did on the plate before, and use my space bar to scooch my circle over and up. And now I'm gonna drag it out a little bit more. It's a pretty good selection. So I've selected it and then I release my mouse. I still have my dancing ants, my dotted line going around it, okay? Let's command zero back out. And now I can use my move tool to move this over. And I'm just gonna put it here kind of near the top of my plate. Now, one thing I'm going to notice about that, I'll move it down a little bit, is I don't like this color. So I actually want to, with the pixels still selected, I want to mess with the pixels a little bit more. So with the pixels still selected so that Photoshop knows I want to mess with only these pixels, I'm going to go up to the top of my screen and go up to my top bar up top, and I'm going to go to Image, and I want to adjust my image a little bit. So I'm going to go down the second one to Adjustments and follow the arrow over, and I'm going to go down to Invert. Boom. So what that did was that just inverted. It turned my blacks to white and orange to its complementary color of blue. So I inverted my image. Um, if I had done that, let's just, let's just back up a little bit. If I had done that, but I had hit command D and it wasn't selected anymore, I could still do that. I could go adjustments, invert, but look, it just inverted. Oh shoot. My whole screen, because I didn't have just some pixels selected. The whole thing was just open season, which is not good. So command, uh, command Z to undo that. Um, now I want this selection. I could go and I could go back to my marquee tool and I could select this, or I could go over here to my history panel and I could click back to an earlier point in my, I can click back to where I began, but I'm just gonna click to an earlier moment where this was still selected, where it says move. And then I can collapse this back down. And now my selection, I'm back to where this is selected. Now I lost any work I did since that point, but it kind of backed up a bit. So now I'm in a good spot. Okay, so it's selected, image, adjustments, invert, good, cool. Now I actually want three of these. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go to my move tool again, and now I'm gonna go over to this and I'm gonna hold down my option key on my keyboard, just like an illustrator, and I'm gonna click and drag off this and that's gonna duplicate my uh, pixels. Now you'll notice that automatically deselected my old one. So I gotta live with that, I gotta be ready for that. But now I've got this selected. Now when this is still selected, I wanna do some stuff to it. I'm gonna zoom in with my Z command. So it's still selected um, and I wanna transform it. So to transform something, I'm gonna hit Command and T on my keyboard. And now I get this bounding box. And once I have this bounding box, I can do stuff like expand this out a little bit, grow it, make it a bit bigger. I can hover out here and I can rotate it. So I'm gonna transform this kind of like that. So it's rotated and it's enlarged. I want you to do the same. Now, once I'm done with the transformation, I have to hit return on my keyboard. And now with this still selected, I can, I can keep moving it, get it right where I want it. And then I wanna make another copy. So it's still selected. I'm gonna hit option on my keyboard and now I'm gonna click and drag to make another copy. So here's my third copy. Let's transform it again. Command and T. Let's expand it out, make it enlarged a bit. Let's rotate it even more. Actually, let's rotate it this way, why not? And I'm done with my transformation, so I'm gonna hit return. And I'm done with my selection, so I'm gonna hit Command D. So now I've got all three made right here. So again, I use my elliptical marquee to get perfect circles, or I could use rectangular marquee for rectangles. I used quick select, which was, uh, sorry, right there for my sand dollar. And now I'm gonna use one final tool for the remaining objects. Let's zoom in on my coral, just a little bit. Space bar to get it over there. 
I'm gonna go down to my fourth tool. It's with quick select. It's actually right above quick select. It's this rec uh, this square, not a rectangle, a square with an arrow on it called the object selection tool. This thing is awesome. So object selection tool has a couple options. What you're gonna notice is when you use object selection tool for the first time, if you look up top, there's a mode button and it says rectangle. And that's gonna let you click and drag around the coral, release your mouse. It's gonna analyze the pixels you just selected and it's gonna be slow. And then it's gonna select what it thinks you want. It's gonna use a technology to assume it understands what you want. Now it wasn't perfect. It got some of the white space in here, bummer. Um, so I don't know if that it worked as well as I needed it to, but it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna command D to get rid of that. You can also change the mode to lasso if you like. And then you can just kind of with your mouse click and drag to kind of loop around it. And then it'll analyze what's inside your selection and it will make it. Now again, I've got these white parts, so that's not very good. So what am I gonna do? Well, if I wanna get rid of part of the selection, cause this selection is good, but I don't want this part selected. So to get rid of something, you might remember in Illustrator, we would hold down option, right? So I'm gonna option and I'm just gonna kind of trace around this area that I don't want anymore and then release. It's gonna think, it's gonna analyze. Oh, look, and it got rid of it. It figured out, oh, you don't want this white, cool. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna hit option. I'm gonna click and drag loosely around the white space I don't want. I always go back to where I started. I have to close the loop and then I can let go of option. I release my mouse. And now it's gonna analyze and see if it can get a better selection on the coral. It did a pretty good job. Now, actually though, it missed this little nubbin right here, right? So what if I wanna add to my selection? I can have my object select. If I hold down my shift key on my keyboard, I can go in and I can add that. And I need to close it off. I can add that part of the selection in. It's really struggling to get that for some reason. Ah, man, it just doesn't want to do it very well. So I can go ahead and I can get it pretty close. I can also, oh, just kidding. I can also go in um, with my actual lasso tool, which is above this, and I can hold down shift. and I can just manually trace what I want. And then it just does what I say. So with a regular lasso tool, I could get rid of something by holding option and just click and drag, and I could make a shape. And it would get rid of that. I don't want that. Um, but I can change my selection. I can hold down option to get rid of this little piece right here. But it's pretty good. Um, so I've got this selection. I'm pretty happy with it. So again, I used object select to select it. And then I used object select with the option key to get rid of parts. Object select with the shift key to add parts in. Or if it's still not working, you can use the regular lasso to add parts in. So I'm gonna hit Command Zero, it's still selected. Grab my Move tool, click and drag this over and place it on my plate. Once I'm happy with the placement, Command and D for done, and there it goes. I can do the same thing, I'm gonna go to Object Select and I'm gonna click and drag with my lasso once it's done thinking. Okay, we're good. So now it's done thinking, so that was a good chance for me to drink some coffee. Um, now I can go in, I can just sort of loosely lasso around this with the object select tool. It's gonna analyze that area, boom, it's snapped in. And again, I can always zoom in if I want to like kind of go around and make sure it worked. Looks pretty good to me. So command zero and then my move tool and click and drag and set this over. Maybe I wanna do command and T and I wanna rotate this a little bit. I think it fits a little bit better that way. Move it over, excellent. I'm done with my transformation, so I hit return. I'm done with my selection, I hit Command D. And I'm gonna come in one final time and select around this clam or mollusk shell. I don't know what that is. Whatever shell that is. Ah, oh, see, it didn't do a great job. So um, again, I can go in, hold down my Option key. And I can just kind of like lasso around that part I don't want. There we go, it cleaned it up. And so then I grab my move tool, so it's selected. I bring this up, Command T to rotate it a little bit so it fits on the plate. Return to get rid of that, and now Command D to get rid of my 
selection. So now that I've got this done, I've got everything that hopefully you understand how to use the selection tools to select pixels and then move them and manipulate them. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, crop this down, which where is my cropped tool? Okay, so now that I'm finished, sorry, we had a quick technical difficulty. My crop tool is back now. So I've got my image finished. I'm going to go ahead and hit my crop tool using my crop button and zoom out a little bit. And all I need you to do is drag this bottom corner in to kind of crop it out. Now, some people are kind of worried. You might have some junk showing right here. That is fine with us. Um, really, we just want to see that you can crop down a bit so there's not as much extra. But if you have little remnants of things, especially here, if you have a, a checkerboard pattern, that is fine. So crop it down. I hit return and I've cropped my image. 